Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to look at some new options in Photoshop Beta that can help us preview, select, and transform the contents of a layer. I'll select the Move tool and enable Auto Select to help quickly select layers. Then let's look at the options under the new gear icon. The first item, Show Transform Controls, was in previous versions of Photoshop, but it was displayed as a checkbox on the options bar. When it's enabled, the transformation handles appear around the layer bounds, making it easier to transform the contents of the layer. Enabling Show Layer Bounds on Hover displays a blue rectangle around the layer bounds when positioning the cursor or hovering over a layer in the image area. And it also displays a highlight over the corresponding layer in the Layers panel. Because Auto Select is enabled, clicking will select that layer in the Layers panel. To display the layer bounds for a layer group instead of individual layers, change the Auto Select to Group. Now we see the layer bounds displayed around all of the ellipse within the layer group, and clicking will select the group on the Layers panel. All right, let's change Auto Select back to Layer. When Expand Layer Group on Click is enabled, and if a layer group is collapsed in the Layers panel, meaning that you can't see the contents of the group, then clicking on a layer in the image area will auto select the layer and expand the group in the Layers panel to reveal the selected layer. The last option, Show Hover Bounds from Layers, when it's enabled, Photoshop doesn't display the preview of the layer bounds in the image area, but instead it displays the preview when we hover over different layers in the Layers panel. All right, let's enable these three options, and I'm going to make this adjustment layer visible. Now, to customize the layer bounds previews, we can choose Photoshop, Settings, and then Guides, Grids, and Slices. On Windows, this would be under the Edit menu and then Preferences. We can change the line color as well as thickness and the highlight color for the Layers panel. It's important to note that when working with adjustment layers, if the adjustment layer's mask is unedited, Photoshop will ignore the adjustment layer. We can preview the layer bounds and use the Auto Select Layer options to select layers. But if I select the mask in the Layers panel and make an edit to it, for example, I'll tap G to select the Gradient tool and then drag a gradient from black to white, and then I'll reselect the Move tool. Now, as I position my cursor over the left side of the image, where the blue effect of the adjustment layer is hidden by the black in the mask, we can still preview the layer bounds and we can click to auto-select the layers. However, if I position my cursor over the right side of the image where the blue adjustment layer is visible, then we can only preview the layer bounds and click to select the adjustment layer mask. In this situation, we can still right-click or control-click on Mac in the image area to select a layer from the context-sensitive menus. Now, if you want to display a preview of the layer edges for the currently selected layer, even when you have another tool selected, we can choose View, Show, and Enable Layer Edges. Now we can preview the layer edges for whatever layer is selected. To quickly hide and show all of the enabled or checked options in this menu, we can use Command-H for Mac or Control-H for Windows. If needed, I can even use the Show Extras options to customize what's included in the shortcut. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.